Hello and welcome to Pegasus Drone Media. Today we're going to be going through a tutorial on how to set a survey mission for the unique H520 using the E90 camera or the E50 camera. The reason for this is because I was looking for tutorials how to do this. I couldn't find one so I'm sure there'll be someone out there that could find this tutorial helpful to them. I'll do my best, this is the first tutorial I've ever done, so I'll do my best to make it as simple and, and as plain as English for you. Right, so basically we want to get started. So first of all, you'll need to open up your unique data pilot app that came with your H520 um, to be able to download it onto your computer from the unique website. You will then need to click the Data Pilot app and it will open up into the screen that you see here. It actually opens up into a picture of the world. You just scroll into where you want to set a mission. So I've scrolled into a piece of farmland and I'm going to show you how to set the parameters of where the aircraft will need to fly. So the first thing you need to do is to go up to the top left here and click the Survey button. A big green box will open up and you can basically then drag and drop around the survey area that you want to do. So we're going to do this field in the middle here for whatever reason. I've chosen this to show you that you can change the actual shape of the green flight area. You'll see that in the corners you've got bright white dots. If you grab hold of one of them and move it about you can actually change where you want it. So I'm going to put this one in this corner. I'm going to go down and put this one in this corner. And I'm going to put this one in this corner. And this one in this corner up here. So we can see we've got an area here which isn't covered by the flight um, plan of the aircraft. The dull white dots, like the, the opaque dots, if you click one of them that will turn it then permanently white. You can then take that and grab that, click the other opaque one, take it, grab it, and you can keep doing that for as much as you want to fill in your areas. This one here will need to just bring that out a bit and bring that one out a little bit. Whoops. Bring it back. Just tidy it up so that you've got the whole of the field. Obviously you want to get everything that your client wants to be in the photo. So obviously if we miss this bit here, this part of the field won't be in the photographs. So I want to drag that, click that, just drag that out, make that nice and tidy. You'll notice also that in the picture uh, that we're going to do some trees around here and you can see the flight path in the bright white lines uh, could possibly hit those trees so you must make sure that your aircraft is going to be higher than those trees so what I tend to do is obviously we can't tell how high the trees are from a PC so what we're basically going to do is uh, when I get to the field I would free fly to the trees fly to the top of the trees give it an extra say 5-10 meters and make sure that the aircraft is going to clear all obstacles that are around me. I'll then bring it back to the home point and then um, set up the mission to go. So what we're doing is we're setting up the mission at home on the PC. You can do this on the ST16S controller uh, in the field, but if you've got it all done here, then you haven't got to do it in the field. You can just upload it to the aircraft and away you go. So um, I'm going to show you how to go through all that by the end of this tutorial. So first of all, we want to set a home point. So where are we going to be on this home point? Well, uh, the aircraft will automatically set its own home point when you switch it on at the site. So for argument's sake, let's say we're going to stand in this field here while we set the mission. So go over to the right hand side and you'll see mission start and you'll see planned home position. Set the home position to the middle of the map and you'll see that that comes to there. So I've got older the H. I'm just going to drag that over there. I like to do that so that I know that I have actually set the home point at, um, on my computer. It just makes it feel safer that if I drive away 200 miles to a site that it's not going to try and fly back to my home address um, <laughs> and, and, and try to get home to that home point. Although it will set its own home point before you take off. 
So while we're here, let's have a look at this uh, on the on the right hand side. So the waypoint mission, I'm going to set it at say 50 meters at the moment. Uh, you can change that to 60 if you want. If you want to change it to 60, you can do. Just click it, changes. But I'm just going to leave it at 50. I want the flight speed to be around five milliseconds. Um, so um, meters per second so basically that's about 11 miles per hour that's a fairly nice slow flight path and it's also going to have a relatively smooth turn when it comes to the turning around areas it's important to tick this box here to make the gimbal picture of the camera 90 degrees then it will f then it will look directly down at the floor if you change that to zero it will be in front of you change it to 45 degrees it will be a 45 ang degrees angle down but because we're doing the survey we do want that to be 90. the yaw we obviously want to be zero because the way that the aircraft is flying is the way we want to take our photographs we are taking a survey mission, but you could say video or survey or photo if you want to. So when you do a survey, we'll take the photos. I want my mission for the aircraft to return back to where it took off at the end of the mission. You can make it loiter, but I like it for it to come back to me where it took off. Then, just as it's above my head, I'll kick it out of return to launch and put it in either manual or angle mode. So we'll tick that. You'll notice that the exit point is now coming back to me here. I'll go through that in a moment. The survey itself, you now click the survey mission and I want to use an E90. So if I want to use the E90 camera, it will tell me that the flight of this particular field is 22 minutes and 15 seconds up here at the top and the distance is 4,132 metres. The batteries required to do this mission is two batteries. It will then swap over, uh, it will then come over as a swap point. And that swap point will be where this white dot is here. So when it does the when it flies off to start the mission, which is down here, we're going to change that later, but if we went from here to here to start for the entry point, it will then follow the lines. And it's there where it takes the photographs and it will just keep doing this. When it gets to this point here, it will change the battery. It will then fly back to the home point, land, you swap the battery, new battery in, swipe the, um, the slider switch that comes up onto this screen. It will then fly back to this point and continue the mission from where it left off. So I want to um, I want it to take images in the turnaround. I don't want it to hover and capture the image. That's going to take a whole lot longer. So I want it to take images in the turnaround as well, so that I've got every single bit of film and it doesn't miss anything. So I will I tick that box. The angle of the flight path is this one here now this isn't the most economical way to actually fly this field you'll get less battery out of that so i want the lines to turn slightly to the left to fly longer in the field rather than across it so much so what i would do is put say 20 degrees on that and we can see it's now going the wrong way so we can go minus 20 degrees and now you'll see the lines are more in the, in, in the field. That isn't quite right how I want it to do it. So I'm going to try 15, minus 15 degrees. There we go. So that's slightly better. Slightly off still. Um, so we'll make it 14 degrees. There we go. That's a lot straighter. Um, I'll probably be a little bit more finicky than that. If I was actually doing this as a flight, I'd get it exact. But that way there, you are actually flying kind of less than distance and if you look at this now you've taken four minutes off of the flight time up the top just by making it do less turns you'll also get better fit photos from this as well in from this angle if you look at the what's going to happen that the using the e90 is going to take 234 photographs at 3.2 second intervals to cover that field and that field is actually an area of 81,107 uh, square meters. So that was using the E90. So if we wanted to use an E50, now obviously that has a 
a 40mm lens on it which zooms in further so that and a less it's, it's not the, the uh, field of vision is, is a lot more narrower so if we change that to an E50 now we can see that the lines have got a lot lot closer so we're going to need 30 minutes flight time now to cover this we're going to need two batteries still and the swap waypoint is three so we're also going to now need 713 photos that's a lot of stitching to do at the end of it so that's why we're going to use the E90 okay so um, we've now gone back to 18 minutes um, and we're down to one battery so changing that line around made it a much more economical um, flight so we're at the home point and we don't really want to fly um, all the way back I quite like the exit being where it is there but these positioning from one two three and four if we just change that to position one we can see that it's actually going to enter up here now but exit here I would rather try and have the exit nearer me so we know what one and two is let's have a look at three no nope, that's even further away so we don't want that and four and that's further away so in actual fact the closest I'm going to get to what I like is to fly away first and then finish closer to you rather than that rather than have the, the aircraft finish round about down here somewhere because if you're low on battery that's a longer flight for it to come back so that is basically all you have to do to set up your mission so how do you get it onto the ST16S well at this point we want to save the mission so we go to the sync over on the left side which is just below the, the survey we go to sync and we go save to file so we go to file we we'll give it we we'll give it a name which we'll is called it a field mission field mission one okay i then save that so where is that actually saved well when you install uh, the unique data pilot app it will actually install a load of folders into your, your documents folder I'm using a Mac um, I'm assuming it's the same on a PC so the app now comes to the data pilot app here and it, when you open up your data pilot uh, folder it will then open up all these and you can see that in missions I've got field mission plan one so this this one here is exactly where our mission plan has gone but we need to get that onto our ST16S so all you need to do is literally plug in your ST16S um, it will then boot up and give you a folder when that folder comes into it exactly in the same way navigate to the data pilot app find your mission folder and literally drag that and drop it into the data pilot folder on your ST16S when you get to the field you can open up your survey mission at a planning screen and literally you'll get exactly the same thing over here you'll get exactly the same thing over here where you go sync and then what you do is you go load from file it'll open up your your mission folder and you just press upload and just it'll just load into the uh, h520 it'll go as it's loading it will, you'll see a green bar going across the screen and then it will say done at that moment you then go back to your normal ST16S screen and just slide the bar um, that, that says um, complete mission or continue mission something like I can't remember the exact wording sorry about that but as you slide that across that then will take off and go and fly the mission so something that I just want to um, point out is that it's important to get these lines in the correct place it's important to get your e90 camera if you want to use the wider field of vision it's important to set your home point and it's important to get this exact now if i wanted to get this exact i would scroll in. i'm just trying to be quick for the tutorial i would scroll in and just follow that field around like this until i got that exactly how i wanted it um, because i want to get the right telemetry um, for the for the, the client so i hope that was useful to you um, and 
I hope this tutorial hasn't bored you too much. I'll try and get better at it as I do more in the future, but I think I'm going to do fewer of these tutorials uh, regarding missions um, and waypoints. Thanks very much indeed for watching, and I hope to see you again in the, in the future. If you liked this tutorial, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down. And if you want to know more from me when I do more tutorials, hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much indeed for watching. Cheerio now.